Okay, so we're talking about finding coterminal angles, and when we are looking at coterminal angles, remember coterminal angles have exactly the same initial and terminal side. Now this one's going to get a little difficult though because when we look at it, if I was actually going to represent this angle, all right, with the kind of a picture here. So here's my initial, what am I doing? I don't even know. So I have my initial side, right? Well, remember in a circle, when I go halfway around, that would be pi. Let's actually, okay. So here's my initial side. Halfway around would be pi, which is four pi over four. All the way around would be eight pi over four, which are which we write as two pi. Now remember, we're going in the negative direction, so I'm gonna go down this direction, which would be negative. So my angle, if it's negative nine pi over four, that means I'm going negative four pi over four to negative eight pi over four, then down to here, which is going to be my negative nine pi over four. So that means my angle has to go all the way around and then down again. So what I'm trying to do is it just asks for finding me two coterminal angles, all right? And usually when you had a coterminal angle, if you added, right, remember all we want to do is we want to find the same angle that has the same initial and terminal side. So usually what we just said was, you know, add and subtract, uh, add and subtract two pi. Well, if I add two pi to this, right? So I add two pi to get the same denominator. I multiply by four over four. Therefore, I get negative nine pi over four plus I get eight pi over four. Well, I get this in here and I look at it, it's negative pi over four, right? And you can see really that's what I win, a distance of negative pi over four. That would still have the initial and terminal side of negative pi over four. Well, if I just wanted to, again, find another terminal angle or another coterminal angle, I'm sorry, I still have the negative. I still need to find a positive. So I can just add two pi onto that again. So if I just take negative pi over four, add two pi again, which is really the same thing as eight pi over four, I end up getting seven pi over four. And let's take a look at that. If we wrote that seven pi over four, right? If this is four pi over four, that means one pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi, six pi, 7 pi over 4. So again, if I just did 7 pi over 4, I would still have the same initial and terminal side. So I hope that helped you out for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please make sure you check them below. Thanks.